So it looks like we have a concrete concrete pour today. So, David, tell us about it. So, let's go over this. The guys, stop talking. We're gonna come. Instructional. To the, tr the truck is gonna come in, and it's gonna have them back down the aisle. It's gonna have a big chute on the back that rotates. You're so, gonna go into the middle one first. I'll probably go on the end one first. Okay. Um, we're gonna put the chute over the hole. Get the guy to spin the barrel. Make fill it with concrete. When it looks like, basically, we'll start from one end and, and kind of, you know, kind of slosh it around. We'll use a rake and a hoe, spread it out. We want to uh, use a stake and poke it a few times, especially in the corners. There can be bubbles under there in the corners. We want to make sure all the air is out. Once we get it smooth uh, or pretty much full, it'll just be a, a ripply mess. We're going to take our scree bar and work it across, making the concrete all smooth. At that point, once we'll probably we should have a little bit left over at the very end that'll splop out, slosh out. Mm -hmm. Once the uh, that's done, no, we'll no doubt have poured another one by then, and we can screw that one and so on. This is the work that happens down on your knees a whole lot. This is often hard. The bigger the slab, the harder this is. When it gets big enough, you want a power screw, like 16, 18 foot wide. Mm -hmm. You want power to, to move that thing because it really gets heavy. I've done one about that big and it was not happy. 16 feet? I think it was 12 foot one way and 20 foot the other, but 12 foot alone was just... How wide was the scree? Uh, it was about 16 feet. You need, you need some room to jiggle it back and forth. I have some shorter ones there, but I think they're too short to use effectively. These seven footers give you lots to grab onto. Mm -hmm. They... Uh, so we're going to be start going around and pouring these and screwing them off. And behind us, the first one will start getting set up because it's been sitting there for a while. Yep. When it's set up, we're going to grab a couple of our tools. We have wooden floats and metal floats. The uh, while, while it's still kind of wet, I, the surface is, is, I think they call it leather hard. It, it, it gives, but it's, you know, gel, gelatinous. Um, you'll, you'll go over it and make sure you've got it all smooth because there'll be like little ripples from the scree and stuff like that. The uh, wood gives you kind of a, a textured finish, which is probably roughly what we want. We'll also have the metal ones, can make it really shiny. The smoother that surface is, the better it's going to be at resisting water penetration. So we want to get that as smooth as we can. Water or ice? Like, uh, it's is it really thing water? At that point. Okay. <laughs> so you're assuming winter water. There's possibly some condensation there and, and water yeah, expanding. The edges that stick out. I mean, the, the column's only going to be here, and there's going to be this little ridge of concrete sticking out, and we don't want that to flake and fall apart. So. So basically the smoothness means that you can't get so many ice crystals exploding there? Well, it's hard for freeze. the water to penetrate because the surface is so smooth, it's more likely to fall off. Okay. If you have a bunch of little holes, it's going to absorb a lot easier. Does that matter for the summer at all? Like if, if it absorbs water in the summer, like if it's in the tropics, does that matter there? Not as much, no. The, uh, the rougher your surface, the more water gets in it and the more it will uh, break apart. I've actually seen a concrete slab that used to be under a house that was just a completely normal under like garage house slab that was left out in the weather in uh, the mountains of Oregon for three years the surface was completely shattered it was essentially crunch crunch it was like gravel mm. with with little bits of exposed rebar just from a few years of being exposed to the full brunt of the weather mm -hmm. yeah so We want these to be as clean as possible, the uh, as smooth as possible. And uh, after it's smooth, we also have edgers. The edger is uh, going to keep us from breaking off the corner of our slab. We want it to be rounded so that you won't break it every time you nick it with your foot or something. The uh, it will this it will just run along the edge of the concrete, and you'll make a little dent along the edge of the wood with 
with the uh, with that. And it'll kind of leave, you've seen the edges of sidewalks where yep. there's something about this wide that's been run along the edge of the concrete and then it's like more brushed in the middle. Uh, that's that's a, a pretty good finish. Now once, as, so once the concrete is stiff enough to uh, to hold the, the shape of this, we can we can uh, do the edging. Uh, we have two at least two edges here. Uh, so, how long do we expect the entire process to last? Like per column, like five minutes or a couple of minutes? Well, we're going to pipeline them. We'll be pouring one while work's going on on the others. Uh huh. But uh, you know, start to finish, the the pad itself will probably be less than. 15 minutes mm -hmm. um, and as for the work we actually put on it probably three or four minutes especially once we get the, the hang of it mm -hmm. so the entire pour we expect what the cement truck to be out of here like one hour or inside of an hour easy I mean, he can't stay here forever because the concrete will solidify in his truck that it, there's a clock ticking on the concrete does he need water afterwards he has a tank of water on his truck okay so one hour for both this side and then the hab lab side yep Okay, that's pretty fast. I mean, as far as the concrete truck's concerned, it'll be pour, 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 down the stripes, and then straight off to the other side. Yeah. We want to remove the internet cord. I don't think it's necessary. They got big, big, big soft, tire, big uh, truck tires. Mm. It shouldn't, shouldn't cause a problem. That's about it. Pouring concrete. Okay, pouring concrete. As soon concrete, as we have concrete.